was an accident. I was driving. A story like this could dominate the headlines for weeks. Chief, we got a body. That was a clip from the political biopic Chappaquiddick, which retells the story of the fatal 1969 car crash involving the late Senator Ted Kennedy, which hits theaters this weekend. Joining me now, the host of In the Fox Light and Senior Vice President of Marketing at Fox News, Michael Tamero. Michael, great to see you. Hello, my Maria. It's so Happy nice to see Friday. you. Happy Friday. You saw Chappaquiddick. I did. And you liked it. I loved it. Fantastic. You think you know this story. Yeah. It's only taken almost 50 years to tell the story of probably the biggest political cover-up of the 20th century uh, in this country. A lot of twists and turns. Uh, a fascinating... It's a non-political movie, yet it's a very damning, straightforward portrayal of uh, what went on and what went on behind the scenes of this movie. Jason Clark plays the late Senator Kennedy. Uh, Kate Mara plays Mary Jo Kopechne, and it's, it's a great... It opens up about 1,100 theaters. Uh, Byron Island's entertainment group bought the rights for this independent movie for about $4 million. It's not going to do a big haul this weekend, probably 2 to $4 million, but I think it's, it's a movie that has legs, and people will be talking and, about it for and a long Kate, time. And Kate Mara, you told me during the commercial break, is Zoe from House of Cards Zoe on Netflix. Netflix. Of cars. And with everything going on right now with the Me Too movement and all that yeah. sort of thing, it's a very relevant movie. Wow, to I want to see that. Yes. I, she was good in House of Cards, that's for sure. We also have a sci-fi horror, A Quiet Place, Quiet starring place. Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. Watch this. Who are we if we can't protect them? We have to protect them. Oh my goodness. Chills, Maria! <laughs> Dad, good movies this it's weekend. Scary movie. It's a much needed hit for Paramount. It's probably going to pull in around $20 million. Husband and wife hiding out with their kids from creatures who hunt by sound so they can't talk or communicate. My husband and my mother in law would be toast immediately. <laughs> I am just saying. Not their thing. This is hilarious. <laughs> but this looks scary. It's terrifying. Uh huh. Okay. Terrifying. So, it was how does for this stack up this weekend, you think? It'll probably uh, pull out as number one over uh, the Steven Spielberg movie Ready Player One. It was produced for about $17 million. I'll probably pull in about 20 plus. Really so. good. It's, I like what's on tap this weekend. A lot of movies coming out this weekend. Yeah. Hollywood needs some hits. They were down 23% for the month of March from last year. Yeah, good point. Yeah. There you go. Michael, have a great weekend. Good to see you. Thank you so much, Michael Tamaro.